We are back with another episode of Strategies for Success, an MBCCD video series that offers us a way to communicate tips and tricks that aim to help you through your college years. During today's conversation, we're going to address the elephant in the room, the Rona coaster. I did not coin that. I heard it on a podcast. It was too accurate not to use. We are living during the time of coronavirus. We're on the Rona coaster, and let's be honest, some, day, some days it can feel like the ride from hell. One of the hardest parts and one of the frequent complaints I hear regarding people's mental health at this time is the uncertainty. As humans, we are creatures of habit. One of the previous strategy for success videos was on building a routine. We find peace of mind in knowing what to expect. That's how we've survived as a human race. So not knowing what to expect or how long this state will last creates a level of unease that can feel insurmountable. We've seen this played out in pandemic panic. People stockpiling toilet paper and picking fights over Lysol wipes. Uncertainty is scary, especially uncertainty of this magnitude. So let's recalibrate. Let's talk possibilities and recommended tips for overcoming this unease. Number one, connect with loved ones. There is a sense of safety and certainty connecting with the ones we love. In fact, engaging with others is the main antidote to stress response. More on that in another video. At this time, there's camaraderie in realizing that even though the future is unknown, our people are solid and steady in our life. All of a sudden, facing the unknown feels less daunting when you aren't alone doing it. Obviously, a difficulty with the pandemic is the distancing that's required for safety. But social distancing doesn't have to mean the absence of connection. On the contrary, it's a good time to get event inventive. Connect with your bubble and take advantage of groups and distance activities offered at the college. Number two, work on being present. There's a level of grief that was introduced during the pandemic. That grief stems from mourning our expectations for the year ahead, as well as the life we were used to living before. It's normal to feel sadness about the current change. But don't stay there. Don't ruminate in it. Are things what you expected? Maybe not, but they haven't stopped you from pursuing your goals. To the best of your ability, focus on the present, the little accomplishments of the day, the moments of gratitude. When practiced regularly, your mind stops grieving what might have been and it starts appreciating the now. Number three, take action where you can. There's a lot you don't have control over at this time, so focus on what you do. Clean your apartment, wash your groceries, douse yourself in hand sanitizer, carry around Lysol wipes. These actions not only make you feel more safe, but they're also the action available to you in fighting this pandemic. Focusing on feelings of helplessness are what can cause us to spiral. So instead, notice the efforts you're taking. That is your contribution. Wearing a mask is your contribution. Socially distancing is. Notice the ways you're doing your part and then celebrate it. It's an unprecedented time and we don't know what the future will look like or what impact this will have. We don't have a time frame. But that hasn't stopped NBCCD from welcoming you into our community and it hasn't stopped you on your journey with us. We're in this together and we're gonna make the most of it. See you in the next video.